Text blocks are one of the most important content blocks on your Squarespace site. You can use your text block to add headings, paragraph text, links, and they offer a wide range of formatting and style settings. To add your text block, go into the edit mode, find add block, and choose your text block. You will see a blue square selector appear where you can write in your text. You can easily resize your text block just by dragging the corners and scaling and you can place it anywhere on the grid. To adjust the style of our text, we can go here under edit, the little pen icon, and first we have our text styles. Here you can see we have heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, and some paragraph options as well as monospace. These are all the different options that are available and your text will adjust to whatever you choose. To change your text styles, remember to go under site styles here on the top right, find fonts, and here under fonts you can choose all of your heading settings, paragraph settings, miscellaneous, you can change your font family, sizing, letter spacing, and like so many options to scroll through. Okay, so next on our text block setting panel, we have bold, italic, you can set your heading and paragraph colors under site styles, but you can also change the font color here. Just note that this won't translate to other sections. So you can use it as a highlight. You can highlight one specific letter, one specific word, or if you want to make your text super fun and colorful, you can choose a color from your palette or a custom one. Next, we have this scale text option. Now this can look really cool in certain layouts. By selecting this option, your text will scale to the entire width of your blue selector. So you can see if we resize our text block, the text will change in size as well, no matter the font styling that you have selected. Another really awesome feature we have on Squarespace is text highlights. You will see a new pop-up window appear with all of your settings for the highlights. Here you can choose the shape of your highlight. You can have like a scribble, an underline, circle, and just choose whatever fits your brand mood. You can select a color, adjust the thickness of the line, and even choose if you want rounded or square edges, whether your highlight is placed on top or behind the word. And my favorite feature, you can make it animated. You can choose the style of your animation as well as duration and direction. To remove it, simply highlight the word again and click remove. We can turn our text into button by hyperlinking. Select the text that you want to have hyperlinked, click on the link icon and here you can choose between linking a URL, a file, email or phone. If we want to link our text to a page on our website, we can just type in our page name. So we can type in home here and you'll know you successfully linked your page once you can see the underline on your text. To delete the link, highlight the word again and click the little x on your link. You'll see our underline has disappeared and the word is no longer clickable. Of course, we can also play around with alignment of our text or add a background color. You can change the color of the background, add a stroke, create rounded edges, choose different padding, and you can also blur either the background or the element. Our color background will fill the entire blue selection border of our text block. Besides our horizontal alignment, we also have vertical alignment. So when you hover over your, your text box, you will see align vertically, little arrow where you can choose your alignment. 
Next we have some basic text settings such as quote styling, bullet lists, number lists, strike through, outdents and indents, paste as plain text and clear formatting. Lastly, if you want to delete your text block, you have your delete button right here. And that is it about our text blocks. Hope this was helpful and that you feel confident enough in implementing text blocks and styling your text. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.